Hi, this is Joe with Prep Agent. I'm here with my friend Mary Porter, and she passed her exam. She's from Florida, the Tampa area. And I'm going to let you take it away because I know there's a lot of stuff you wanted to share with all those people who are scared and studying and trying to get where you are now. Yeah. Okay. First off, um, I say that I think that you should start off with the right mindset. So don't go into it thinking, oh my gosh, I have to study for this long exam. Don't go into that. You're starting a new career and you should be excited about it. And the information that you're learning, you're actually going to use. So I think that the mindset is pretty important to start off thinking that way because when you start reviewing the questions and you start learning stuff, instead of just trying to memorize it, you're actually going to think, huh, how am I going to use this when it's time to actually act as a real estate agent? How is this going to affect me? If somebody doesn't pay me, how am I going to get paid? Who do I need to call? Things like that. Instead of just trying to memorize them, they're actually going to mean something to you. So they're going to stick. So that attitude first off, I think is most important. Have a positive attitude and be excited to learn because this is a new career you're starting and it's going to make you better. Uh, now for studying, <laughs> studying, I say, I wrote some notes here, so just, uh, but I say start studying in small chunks. Um, for me, I have the attention span of a two-year-old. I'm like, ding, ding, squirrel. I, I just, I get bored fast. So what I love about prep agent, huh? I always say if you can't sleep at night, open up one of these books, you'll be out in two seconds. <laughs> oh, Joe, I slept with you many nights. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Yeah. No. Okay. But I did. Yeah, I cooked with you too. Yeah. We have quite the relationship. <laughs> 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 but I say really immerse yourself in it and do, you know, there are so many different options on prep agent that you can use and utilize. For me, I found the most effective uh, that I actually enjoy doing was the prep exams. The prep exams to me were everything. Now you have your option for a hundred questions. Again, my tension spans like that little. So at first I just started off with 10 questions because at the end of it, you get a grade. For me, it's like, ooh, immediate gratification. And so I did little chunks, 10 at a time, in each uh, subject. So I went from this subject to this subject to this subject until the end when it gets to the uh, major exam that includes everything. But 10 questions, it's like, okay, I can finish 10 questions. And if I'm up for it, I can do 10 more. And if I get bored, then I would listen to the audio. And I mean, sometimes, it might have just been playing. I don't know if I was exactly listening, but it's, I was just immersing myself into it. And uh, the prep exam videos I found very helpful. And I watched them several times. If I didn't remember something, I'd go back. And yeah, I've heard you say, repetitive, 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 like, oh my gosh, a million times in my head. So, and it actually did help me during the exam. They asked a specific question and I was like, oh, river, river, okay, got it, got it, okay, yeah. So um, just, I guess my tip is just to immerse yourself in it, try different ways because if it's, if, if you have to look at the video because then you're learning visually, if you have to hear it, if you actually have the test taking because participating in it, flashcards, uh, they really weren't for me, but uh, again, there's options. So just switch them up, try different things. And then also, so after I start taking the exams, there's things I couldn't remember. Like I would get them wrong again and again. And so then I would take the next step and I'd actually write them down and have fun with it. I would think of uh, a story, like let's say Eschiot. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Cheat. Pardon? It's cheat. S cheat. Okay. Well, I got it right because I knew how to spell it. And but uh, that one I couldn't remember for some reason. And I just I know I was getting delirious, and I'm just like, oh shoot, this man died. He was so lonely. Now the government's taking his uh, his assets. It's like, mm. yeah, a Scrooge story. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. Like so, just silly things. Just get delirious and have fun with it and then you're gonna remember these things again the more you make it relatable to you or a story that you can remember and even say things out loud because you don't realize it but it's actually really good for learning when you say it out loud repeat it like you I hear you in my head repeating things so yeah so that's my tip for actually studying 
And then for the actual test taking, mm -hmm. um, that know what to expect when you're going there. I feel like you go there and it's like the prison of test taking. <laughs> <laughs> it is you go there and it's like just be prepared don't don't be running late and don't go in there thinking that you're going to study more or no you go in there and just be prepared to know what you need to know drop what you're doing you can't they're going to even pat you down it's kind of i don't know i was a little surprised i was like oh, okay Seriously, but, Sam, you don't realize it like cheating on that thing's like a felony it's a real deal well, they definitely will make sure that you don't. I mean, they they pat you down. They even have a thing that if you wear glasses, you have to put your eyeglasses on there and it spins. I don't know. Maybe people are going in with cameras. I, I don't know. But I was a little taken off like, oh, my gosh, like they're really serious. And there wasn't a lot of smiles cracked around there. So mm -hmm. just zone that out. Just be prepared. Um, you know what you know. And then so uh, back to my test taking tips. I think. For me, it helps to have a plan. It's a hundred question test, which can get very long. So for me, I want to go in there. I, I, I went through the questions. I answered what I knew. If it took me too long to read, honestly, I, I skipped over it. I answered the questions that I definitely knew, that I feel, felt confident about. And then I went back because it'll actually show you. It, it, it's a nice system, actually, where you don't have to keep track of what you didn't answer it'll show you there's a page that will show you that and if you answered a question and you weren't sure about it mark it put an x on it mark it up it's it's a good it's a, actually a good testing system so i answer all the easy questions first and then i spend more time on the questions i really had to think about and then i did the math questions last and then my final process was everything that I marked with an X that I really wasn't sure about. I went back and I, I read through it and I spent some time on those questions. And the thing about it is that sometimes there's, there might be a question on there that you're not sure about, but then when you start reading through the exam, then you're like, Oh, there's the answer to my question. Okay. I know that one. Some of the questions on the exams will answer your questions if you know what it is. And, um, my other tip is read the question. Reading boo. You have to read the question because I, I, if I didn't go back and check my answers, there's some I would have got wrong because immediately I was like, oh, I know that. Here we go. No, it was the opposite of what I thought it was because I didn't read the question thoroughly. But luckily I did catch it. The, the test is long enough. You will have time. Don't worry about that. So just really read the question. And um, another tip is what I found is there's questions on there that pertain, let's say it'll ask something about a dual agent. Well, in Florida, you can't be a dual agent. It's, it's, it's not allowed here. So it's almost, I feel like a trick question because whatever the answer is, make sure that it pertains to the state that you live in. So. That was a big thing for me because I would have got that wrong if I didn't stick with that rule. So make sure it pertains to the state that you live in. And so read the question. Anything else I was going to say? Let me see here. Um, oh, and another good thing to do is if you don't know the answer, start looking. There we go. Yeah. Um, but if know the answer look through the answers and eliminate the answers that you know are wrong and then let's say if there's four answers and you mark two of them okay you have a 50 percent chance of getting the answer correct so i would say just do it that way and don't leave any questions unanswered because then it will just be wrong so at least take your best shot at it so that's my advice it's good advice and super helpful is there anything else you want to add um, no, just good luck and uh, have fun with it. Try to make the most of it and just remember that it's information that you're actually going to use and you should be excited about it so you can do the best you can as a real estate agent in your new career. Well, thank you so much. That's hugely helpful. You're helping a lot of people who are nervous and, you know, I appreciate it. So, good. well, so, I hope so. I hope that my tips help you. So. Absolutely will. Yes. Stop me. There we go. Yeah, so Joe, <laughs> thank you 
Jenkins, Mary Porter. Um, look for show notes about her. Excuse me, look at links in the show notes about her below. And thanks again. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye.